welcome to Hello Monday, where Rachel talks all things ballet and fitness, sharing strategies and techniques to help you start, grow, and create a thriving business using your passion for ballet and fitness. And here's your host, Rachel Withers. Hi there, hi there, and welcome to another Hello Monday. I hope you are all really, really well and had an incredible weekend, and um, great to have you here, here again with me tonight. Um, on Hello Monday, we talk about all topics that are ballet, all topics that are fitness, really all around that. And tonight, what I wanted to talk to you about is really holistic health. And I really wanted to talk about that tonight because I think it is an incredibly important uh, topic. And it's something that I am exceptionally passionate about is thinking about our health from a whole point of view. So that is what we're going to be talking about tonight is holistic health and how you can actually incorporate it in your life to have that balance, but also how you can have it um, and really help to pass that on to your clients too. So that is what we're gonna be talking about, is holistic health. And as always, please say hello. So I'm just sit, sit, chatting. Gosh, I can't talk already, and we've only just started, hello Monday. I'm just checking the comments box. Hi, hi Deborah, great to have you here. Hi Mandy, fantastic to have you here. Please say hello, always love that. Hi Adrian, great to have you on here as well. And I'd love to know kind of your thoughts on on holistic health as well, and what you how you uh, really practice uh, holistic health, and really how you incorporate that into into your daily life. So that is what we're going to be talking about tonight. So hello everyone, as always, great to have you on here. So the reason why I really wanted to talk about holistic health is because at Ballet Be Fit, we really believe it is so important to incorporate the physical, the emotional, the, the social, the spiritual, and the intellectual aspects to wellness, which allows us then to completely integrate the mind, the body, and the, and the spirit in order to have a total well-being. And that's that's what we really believe. We really believe it's important to incorporate the mind, the body, the soul, the spirit. That's really what um, we believe at Ballet Be Fit is important to get that total, that total well-being. It is not just all about the physical fitness aspect, but that is exceptionally important too. But it's to get the combination so that that all integrate together. So that's what we are going to be really talking about tonight. So please put in the comments box your thoughts on um, really holistic health. And we know that working out really positively affects, uh, you know, every aspect of our lives because it obviously increases, you know, helps us with our health, it helps us with mental clarity, and that does allow us to really focus on, you know, us that we might you know might have and it does help us in terms of really removing any negative thoughts you know act activity does help that and it does help remove them whether that's negative to be about yourself or perhaps others around you and i think that that is so important for self-esteem right too so we, you know, we're going to be talking about working out, we're talking about fitness, but there are other elements there. And we've really got to focus on the three aspects, which are, are the mind, the body, the soul, or the spirit, because that way we can really achieve a sense, a sense of balance that, that really positively impacts every aspect in our lives. And it really, we need to be thinking about that increased well-being, which is our physical sense for improved self-esteem, thinking about emotional stability for mental well-being and an enhanced awareness as well to the world around us, which I think is the spiritual side. And it is really work worth doing. And that, that's what we're talking about, talking about tonight. So hi, uh, somebody else has just popped on as well. Hi, great to have you here. Sorry, I can't see can't see your name, but great to have you here. Keep If you're using StreamYard, just put your name at the end if you haven't accepted. Fantastic to have you all on here. So as you know, the 
we do know the human body is really quite a complex complex and quite intricate system with various parts that really are working in tandem to keep the to keep us functioning to keep our body functioning and i think right now in modern kind of day western medicine it often looks at an individual part of the system rather than examining it as an interconnected a kind of web of systems and this can this can lead to diagnosis which can actually leave out key information or symptoms without taking into account how they're actually related to other aspects within the delicate balance we all call health because we know sometimes if we're if we stress that can really have um, an impact on our physical well-being and it's really thinking that is there is there what is that combination so that they all it is a complex system and an intricate system and it's really looking at it as a whole rather than separating it out and this is why holistic health is is so important because it to really achieve truly optimal wellness in the physical in the mental and the spiritual sense we have to be viewing what in the body really as an incredible system the incredible system that it is and holistic healing is looking at a person it's looking at their mind and it's looking at the spirit and it's looking at, at the body and, and it is important to think of holistic health as a system that encompasses the body the mind and the spirit because this is what I believe is true wellness and it can only be achieved when we're taking care of all aspects in our person and not just one or two parts of it and if you agree with me it would be great for you to kind of put put some yeses through love love to hear your thoughts on on holistic wellness um I really want to hear if you're kind of think about your wellness and your health do you think of it all in connected do you think of it as a whole or do you tend to just look if something's not right do you look at that one point so really um I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think about holistic health and whether you agree with me or whether you don't agree with me? Um, it'd be great to hear what you're, what you're thinking about. And I think while people are living longer, um, and I just mentioned stress, we're, we actually are, I think, experiencing a more, and I think with what we've all been through, a lot more levels of stress, a lot more levels of fatigue, and we're also consuming you know nutrient depleted foods on a daily basis which actually can be exposing us to hundreds of harmful chemicals that that can be found in the air or the water that we, we've got right now but through our cleaning products as well and and as our personal care items such as toothpaste which can lead us to sometimes some undiagnosable symptoms which um we need to really look at that. We need to look at, you know, are we eating, um, are we eating kind of nutrient depleted foods? What, what, you know, with our self care, pro you know, uh, products, personal care products that we have, rather, what do they have in them? What does the water have in it that we're that we're drinking? All of that is really important to to our health, and it's really important to look look about that and look at the stress levels that we've kind of all been. <laughs> I think exceptionally exposed to in these in these difficult times and this is what we need to look at we need to look at the body as a whole because sometimes the physical is um a reaction to what's going through stress levels as i've said as as mental well-being and then what we're actually the physical can also be related to if we've got a physical issue related to kind of what we're putting into our body what are we are we putting in you know the foods that don't have the right nutrients for it. Are, are we putting it for us? Are we putting in drinking water that's got the chemicals in it? Think, really think about kind of what we put in into your body. So it's thinking about it as a whole. And I'm hope, uh, Mandy, you don't know much about this topic. I hope kind of as we go through this, you're gonna kind of get a little bit more about it because for me, it's about thinking about yourself but also then how you can pass on this kind of this if, if you choose to this holistic approach to wellness so that you can support your clients in 
their fitness levels, you can support your clients in their mental well-being, and you can also support your clients with what they're putting into their bodies as well. And I think holistic health is one of the most important things you can actually do for your body. And I think with the way that life is kind of constantly changing, we must think about how we adapt our lifestyles to these changes and how we support ourselves when you know there's so much and there has been so much kind of chaos going on how do we adapt how do we look up look after ourselves as a whole how do we do that and i think that is one of the most important things that we can really do for ourselves right now and i think i, I truly do think that holistic health is really one of the best things that you can do for your own wellness because it really does take into account those external factors as well, which, which I've just kind of been briefly touching upon. And it really is a way of living that addresses the physical, it addresses the emotional, the social, the spiritual, and the intellectual aspects of an individual. Those aspects of you, those aspects of your client. And that's what I think is such a an incredible thing about when you start to think of all of that as a whole and true holistic health will really it will really enable individuals to live their lives in the most healthy manner possible it because all these areas all those five aspects are totally interconnected so we've got the physical we've got the emotional we've got the social we've got the spiritual and we've got the intellectual and it's all so interconnected and it is these parts of the human body that really do work cohesively together in order to facilitate the, homeost the homeostatic well-being, really, of optimal health. And that's what we need to be kind of really thinking about. And hi, Kelly. Great to have you joining us, um, as always. Great to have you here. So let's think about it now. How do we really develop that that wellness how do we do that and how we, i'm going to now talk about kind of how you can put together a program that is really going to address uh, this as uh, as a whole and really look at uh, kind of addressing the physical the emotional the social the spiritual and the really the intellectual aspects and how you can really bring this into your life and the lives of your clients that's what we're kind of going to delve into a little bit more and i can just see some co comments coming through so I'm just going to check what's coming through Deborah is saying that over 14 years ago she was losing her hair in clumps without realizing it was down to a stressful job thankfully thankfully I turned my world around to bring it to the right space wellness and absolutely that's and that's the thing Debbie's story is really showing you that a physical something happened to her physically you could see the physical element but that was to do with something to do with the stress of a job her mental uh, you know her emotional and her mental well-being and that's it does display and that's why it's so important to think of your health as a whole because it is so so interconnected so what we're going to really do now is i'm going to kind of talk to you now about really developing a wellness program that is going to address this so that you can really bring this into your life and also you can support your clients life lives as well so it's important for us and it really is it is important for us to take the responsibility for our health and our overall wellness in life that is our responsibility and then as a, a fitness professional it is also your responsibility to support your clients with this to really help them as well in terms of how they can uh, really improve how they feel how they look and other components in their in their life as well and this is why it is really important to develop a complete a complete wellness program if you like it really is the way to do it and that's and that's what i'm going to kind of really share with you share with you right now is how do we develop a wellness program that's going to get this holistic approach to to our health to our wellness and developing your own kind of personal wellness program will really help you fully understand what it means to have that to have that life balance and it it really will give you a plan of achieving that because i think we really do forget that 
We need to balance our life. We need to have that life balance. So in order to do that, how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we need to do is we really need to evaluate our life. And this is, you know, think about doing it for yourself. And when you do it for yourself, you're then going to be able to support your clients with this. So really think about evaluating your life. And I think that there are several core areas in your life that we that we really, that you should really review when you are developing your wellness, when you bring in this wellness program in, because all of these areas are exceptionally important. And sometimes some of these are often ignored because, because of busy schedules, but we need to think about that. And we need to really think about putting a program together that really focuses on this. So the first thing is to kind of Value. And what we need to value is these areas. We need to think about our diet. We need to think about our diet. We need to think about exercise. We need to think about our thoughts. We need to think about our leisure time. And we need to also think about our feelings. That's the, These are the core areas and components that we really need to think about when we are developing our own wellness program to really have that holistic that whole approach to, to our wellness. So we're going to think about our diet. We're going to think about exercise. We're going to think about our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions. We're going to think about our leisure, our leisure time, taking, taking some time out. Um, and we're also going to think about our feelings as well. Uh, so in order to create your program, you really need it is absolutely vital that you include all of these areas in your plan because ultimately all of those key areas have a place in how we feel both physically and psychologically so i'll just go through them again we've got diet we've got exercise we've got thoughts we've got leisure time and we've got feelings and we need to really be thinking about that when we're creating our own wellness plan for ourselves and it's a really good idea to do it for yourself first and then you really can kind of think about that and then you can start to encourage your clients to really think about their their health on a whole so we're going to think about the elements of this so a program that really focuses on how well you are really does and should start with a diet that includes healthy foods and these must you know you must be including nutritionally sound foods and these are tend to be foods that are cultivated organically so that you really reduce the amount of toxins that are entering your body and you should be focusing on consuming fresh plant foods like quite simply fruit and vegetables rather than the prepackaged foods in this in, that we can often just quite easily buy in in the the stores in the shops and eating nuts and drinking lots of water and make sure think about your water as well think about the kind of water you're having does it have chemicals in it and lots of water is also so important and this is really going to help you really be putting nutritional food into your body that is going to really help you feel so much better so all you can you check out local health food stores or farmers markets for fresh produce and they really are very good now and there's lots of them around and you can really get that great produce that is going to be really nutritionally uh, beneficial for your body if any of you kind of got some where you go what you put do you eat uh, more organically grown food plant-based what do you have it'd be great to hear kind of what you're putting into what you feel you're putting into your bodies do you think about your diet or do you go for something easy because it is so important to think about how we are nourishing our body what are we putting into our body that is a key element our diet is a key element to our health and when i talk about diet i'm not talking about losing weight here i'm not talking about that i'm talking about look feeding your body the fuel that it needs to function properly um, that's what we really need to be doing we need to be feeding our body the fuel to function properly and that's what we should be thinking about and debbie is saying that she grows she's trying like the word she's put trying to grow 
uh, grow um, her own. Um, I hope I hope it's working for you. There's nothing better if you can get a little patch, or even if you can you can have a, a pot or something uh, just just outside on a, on a balcony a windowsill just try and grow some of your own your own uh, produce it is great great fun too um it really really is um so have have a go um <laughs> somewhat so we're at the trying but uh you're getting there don't be. so it's it is think about if you can grow some, because if you grow your own produce if you grow then you're going to know exactly what what's what's in it so see see what you can do but go to the local farm shops go to the go to the farmers markets go and try and get the freshest produce that you can so think about what you're putting into your body it is fuel it needs to be nutritious that means then that your body will function at its optimum and that's what you need to be really thinking about a diet is about what you're putting into your body are you feeding it? Are you fueling your body? That's how you need to think about your food. And when you start to think about it in that way, your diet also uh, improves so much and you just you just start to feel so much better. Uh, Mandy's trying to grow veg in pots on a terrace. I live in a flat. Exactly. It's pots on your terrace. Perfect. And that's and that's the thing no matter what the space is where you are there's always ways that you can do it and you can um beautiful herbs as well grow some herbs in pots as well really flavor your flavor your food with lovely natural herbs that's a really another important thing that that you can do so think about your diet really think about the fuel that you are giving your body then another important element is of course exercise and you really need to be doing uh, exercise, which we all know, guys. But again, it's really, this is helping your clients really understand the purpose of health as a whole. And that, uh, yes, exercise is going to help you lose or maintain your weight, but it's also going to increase the amount of available oxygen throughout your body. So it's it's really, somebody's just put there on the treadmill at the moment now. That's really made me smile. I haven't, so you're listening to me while you're on the treadmill. Absolutely perfect. Sorry it hasn't come up, but that's that's really, really made me smile. And Deborah's saying, grow it yourself. There's this great site to follow Deborah saying here in Ireland called Grow It Yourself. Mine does not look like anything like they are growing, but I'm determined. Well done. Um uh, absolutely so that's an interesting site so um guys check it out grow it yourself um so thank you for sharing that and uh um hi rosa great to have you on here as well so we've talked about the diet we've talked about putting nutritional food in good food good fuel into your body obviously exercise is exceptionally important Bally be fit we all know is incredible exercise do some ballet be fit. Yes, it's going to help you. You. It's going to also help your clients maintain or lose the weight, but it is going to really help the available oxygen through, and um, it's going to increase the oxygen in the body. And the cells and the muscles and the bones and other components of the body are heavily dependent upon oxygen and the body's ability, ability to properly circulate the blood. So it's really important that we exercise. And it's thinking about this, and this is what I think so many people come to a fitness class just with the and just is the wrong word but with the idea it is about um losing weight toning up getting in shape but if you think about it a healthy oxygenated body will have more energy and that is actually going to make you more productive and it's going to make you happier so it's thinking really thinking about exercise as well what benefits does it give to the body and how is that going to make you feel so when you're helping your clients through getting them on a wellness program it's thinking about look your diet is about fueling your body it's about looking after your body then exercising is about making it getting you more energy, making you more productive, which is going to make you feel happier. So it's putting all that in. It isn't just about losing the weight. Um, so 
And as we know, Ballet Be Fit is a great way to exercise, but you can encourage your clients as well. Go on a walk. You take the, If you live in an apartment, take the stairs instead of the, the lift or the elevator, whatever you call it. And really just get outside if you can. Go on a walk. Get fresh air. And you can do our, our online classes as well in the comfort of your own home. It's all of that that you can really that you can really do to get yourself exercising. So to keep good health, we really do need to eat nutritionally and we do need to lead an active life. And we need to, quite simply, and, and you need to be encouraging your clients to do this, avoid unhealthy, unhealthy habits, such as smoking, such as overeating and, and heavy drinking, and really reduce the exposure to unnatural chemicals. It's really important to do that. We don't want to be putting lots of toxins into our body. And the next part of this, the next part of the wellness program for yourself, for your clients, is to ensure that your throat that your thoughts and that your feelings are positive and complementary to, to your life. And having a support group, and, and we're a great support group in here at Bally Be Fit, or someone to talk to, um, a friend about any issues or anything that's concerning you can be, can be really very productive. And in addition, it's really about learning how to manage stress too because that can be exceptionally beneficial to your to your wellness and exceptionally beneficial for you for your clients too because we can experience and we certain certain people for example certain places can really make you feel stressed they can actually lead to depression or not or other negative feelings and it's really important to to pull yourself away from that Pull yourself away from people that call or places that cause you stress. Um, put, get away from it and find a productive way of coping with it. You need to do that. And that can be, as I say, it can be talking to a friend, it can be talking to a family member, um, or it can be, if you needed to, a, a counsellor. Um, it, it can be, all of that can really provide great comfort. And these people really can offer you objective advice and other ideas and other methods on how to deal with the with the stresses that are in your life so it's important it is important to recognize that stress and the environment that you are sometimes can have a negative effect on even a strong and healthy body so it's very important to maintain a positive lifestyle to counteract such negative influences and you need to focus your energy on sustaining your strength and really reducing the tension in your life it is so important to do that focus focus on looking after your body focus on positivity i love gratitude journals i'm always always every morning I think about what I am grateful for and that just sets me up for the day and it's really you need to teach your mind to control your stress levels and um, because you do need to address the factors that create stress in your life you need to really think about that and you need to really encourage encourage that inner peace with with meditating, meditating is fantastic and it is a great way to really reduce levels of stress. I like to do my gratitude. I like to meditate. I absolutely adore getting out every single morning. I get out. I am walking my dogs. I am listening to that. We have a lovely kind of, we have a, not kind of, we have a lovely stream. I listen to the, the, the water uh, on the stream listen to the birds when they're out I just love the sounds of nature and that really just puts me right in the place where I need to be every day if you can't get if you can't get outside another great thing that you can do is 
stand in front of a, a window, open the window and just let the air, just let the air come, come in if you can. That is another really great way. Do a meditation, do some stretch, do your gratitude. All these things are going to set you up for the day and really help you control your stress levels. And Kelly is agreeing with me on this. So thank you, Kelly, for that. I hope that I've kind of, with this, really helped you think about how your health, how your wellness has to be thought of as a whole. It isn't about going to an exercise class and then forgetting the diet. It isn't about forgetting your emotional uh, well-being. All of it fits together. And that is really how you need to think about about your health and that's how you should support your clients as well it needs to be thought about as a whole and that's what holistic health and holistic wellness is all about you must be focusing on both the physical and you and the psychological aspects of who you are in order to be well and i hope by following the techniques that i've shared with you today that you really think about developing your own wellness program that is going to enhance your life well into the future but not only can you think about developing your own wellness program think about developing your clients wellness programs as well so that you can really support them so that they're thinking about their health as a whole so the first steps to really do that is to think about your diet think about exercise think about your thoughts Think about making sure that you get that time, that leisure time, that time out. Make sure you get that break. Get the, an evening out, spending time with your family, spending time with your children, spending time with your partner. Really think about that as well, time with your friends. And, and then think about your feelings. You'll take yourself away from places that create or people that give you negative, negative thoughts. Really think about your whole life as a whole and then you can really start to get some balance there and that's the key to holistic health so I hope you've enjoyed this hello Monday I hope that's given you um, a lot of food for thought um, and I hope that you are really going to incorporate that into your own life so that you get that life balance but also that you this helps you to support your clients. So when clients are coming to you and you're having conversations with them, that you're also supporting them. Yes, from the Bali inspired fitness. Yes, that you're doing uh, the exercise and you're supporting them through your classes, but that you're also sending out maybe a newsletter, doing some email. You could even do your own, your own uh, uh, Q and A with them, your own session with them. That's really helping them to think about their, their, their health as a whole. So I really hope that that's given you, uh, if you haven't already, an, another approach to really think about health and wellness. So um, somebody saying mind, body and soul, absolutely. And uh, Debbie's saying thank you as always. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, Hello Monday. I will be back in two weeks time at the moment um, because it is the summer uh, even though it's been raining today uh, we've had a bit of sunshine um, I'm just doing it every two weeks so that I get a little bit more of life balance by spending a bit more time with my family I will be going back to every single week in September but over the summer I'm going to be doing my hello Mondays every two weeks because I just felt that it'd be great for, for me and my family to just have our Monday evenings a little bit uh, more together. Um, Mandy's saying, uh, give them some interesting thoughts and will help me with my own, with your own health. Oh, thank you, Mandy. I'm really glad that that's, that's helped you. And if you need to reach out anymore, feel free to, feel free to. Uh, Adrian, thank you, my pleasure. Kelly, thank you. So I hope that that has really, as I say, oh, Nicola, it's, uh, uh, thanks, Nicola. Um, great to have you here. So that's it for Hello Monday. I am doing a uh, workshop on July the 14th for non-instructors. If anybody is a non-instructor 
here if you can just reach out to me either messenger or in the comments here we have a we have a wait list it is for a limited number of people only so uh, we're putting a list together uh, so if you are interested in joining me for a it is a morning workshop for um it starts at 9 30 on july the 14th and it finishes at, at 1 p.m and it is a workshop for non-instructors that will be a fantastic workshop i'm going to go through a class with you and i'm also going to go through uh, elements of business strategy in terms of having your own uh, fitness business so that is on july the 14th if you are a non-instructor if you're interested in that reach out to me through messenger or in the comments box here and uh, my, either myself or the team will get back to you on that and for instructors uh, we have some I am just putting a date together. I will be letting you know where we'll be doing a Ballet Be Fit convention uh, into September time. Uh, I think the news has been quite positive uh, in terms of where we are with, with COVID. So I've been waiting to hear that hopefully we're gonna get a bit more normality back. So I am gonna be doing a uh, Ballet Be Fit convention and that should be around September time. I will confirm the dates. So let me know as well if you are interested in that. That convention will be for non-instructors and instructors too. Um, so that will be now. I saw the flash come through on my phone. So I think um, it's going to be great. We're going to be able to do something with a bit more of normality. I've been holding off uh, doing, doing it because I wanted to hopefully be able to us have the best experience that we possibly could yeah it is exciting times we're going to be doing some incredible stuff if you can't get to the convention i will be streaming it live anyway and hopefully ireland will open up too so you can join absolutely fingers crossed hopefully by september um and i'll we'll see where everything is it might be towards the back end of September, a bit more time so hopefully we can hopefully we can do that so everybody have a great rest of your evening. I will see you in two weeks time for another Hello Monday. Guys, if you're a non-instructor, check out the workshop on the July the 14th. If you're an instructor, I will be reaching out to you very, very soon with regards to dates for the Ballaby Fit Convention. So take care, everybody. Have a great evening and I will see you real soon. Okay, take care. And I will see you, as I say, in two weeks time for another Hello Monday. So enjoy the rest, enjoy the rest of your night. Thanks for tuning in to Hello Monday. Be sure to visit the Ballet Fitness Room to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Join us next time for more tips and techniques. Bye for now.